thank you very much. And thank you for the opportunity and the invitation to speak at this important event. Uh, let me first say that I and my family are really happy to live in Indonesia. It's a great country and we appreciate it every day. Um, so on behalf of C4, I would like first to express our gratitude to the government of Indonesia, the president, the Ministry of Forestry, to Forda for supporting us in our mission and for the strong partnership that we're enjoying with the Indonesian institutions. Um, as you may know, Pakiman is also on the board of trustees of C4. Before him, uh, before him uh, we had Pak Fatoni, and we also have uh, an officer with the Indonesian government, Pak Agus. We are very grateful to have this, uh, this, this expertise to help C4 in its mission. Um, C4 is an intergovernmental organization, and this partnership with the government of Indonesia is really, really helpful when we do our work. And it's also very good and interesting to see the lead role that Indonesia is now taking internationally. We know very well from the follow-up to Rio Plus 20 that your president is engaged uh, in the high level, at the very highest level, to look at the post-2015 development agenda and the sustainable development goals. I think this, this is an important uh, sign because what we do in forestry, be it Forda, or be it C4, or be it any other institution, I think should relate to these broader development goals. And if we do that, then we will make sure that forestry is on the agenda, is in the minds of the high-level politics and in the minds of many people. I think this is really the important uh, uh, avenue forward. And uh, as I was speaking yesterday in the seminar here about uh, how we put forests in the context of the green economy, this was also uh, my message. We need to broaden out forestry. We need to make forestry relevant for the broader development goals. That's what I, as an as, uh, incoming DG of C4, is trying to promote. And just to give you one sense of what that means in practice, uh, we are working on our research priorities and we're having a dialogue also with Forda on, on research priorities. One of the areas that I would like to see grow in importance is the planted forest, the production forests issues. And a very big reason for that is that this is one way I, I see how forestry can contribute to the broader development agenda. The environment part, the human part and the economic part. This is, this is really central to, to forestry for the future. Um, of course, we will continue to be very much engaged in climate change, in biodiversity, and all the other important topics. But I wanted to flag that we see the broader contributions to development as an important factor in, in forestry. Um, Forda is celebrating 100 years of research. That's a major achievement. C4 is celebrating only 20 years this year, but we at least we are celebrating. And I've learned that uh, C4 actually was born on this, this campus, and for the first year C4 was hosted here at, at Forda. Um, I think we together can look forward to many more years of working together on uh, shaping the forest research agenda and helping each other to influence the international debate, dialogue, and decisions on forestry. Now, today we're going to have a ceremony to sign uh, an agreement that will extend our partnership with, with the, um, the government of Indonesia. And particularly, this is about the initiative that started already in 2011 to work on awareness raising, communication, and knowledge sharing on climate change and specifically on RED. And uh, the work we've done since 2011 with a redindonesia.org website, which this uh, project is, is, is uh, partly about, has shown that we've been able to attract, <clears throat> attract more than 100,000 visits to this website. So we're really reaching out to a wider audience with the RED issues. 
we've had 50,000 downloads of publications. And we've had a monthly newsletter in Indonesia distributed to more than 5,000 subscribers. So this partnership is really important. It helps the forest, forestry research um, messages to get out to the wider public. And, and uh, this is, this is uh, something we want to continue. And we're also continuing the series of training workshops on communication with Forda staff. That will be an important element of the next phase. And we're also tailoring further communication initiatives together with Forda. Um, we all know the importance of social media these days, be it Facebook, Twitter, etc. And we are really using these to leverage our, our messages and helping uh, the knowledge of RED to grow. So, in conclusion, I look forward to a continued partnership on this particular project. Again, many thanks to the government of Indonesia to, for its support to C4. I think we have a lot to build and work together on in the coming years, and I look forward to that very much. Thank you.